this question was asked in gate 2018 electronics and communication in a paper in which you have given a carrier signal c of t and uh, message signal m of t and uh, this uh, ct plus mt is applied to a, a non-linear device whose input output relation is given by uh, this equation and uh, a and b are uh, constant after that uh, the output of this uh, non-linear device is uh, fed through uh, a ideal bandpass filter uh, whose center frequency is fc and uh, bandwidth of 3fm and which generates the amplitude modulated so you have given the condition that uh, ratio of sideband power and uh, carrier power is 1 by 2 then you need to find out the ratio of a by b so the NPT reference for this question is principle of communication system by professor Aditya Jagannathan uh, the lecture is uh, introduction to AM signal so the useful data for this question is if you have given a uh, C of T which is AC cos omega CT where AC is the amplitude of the carrier signal and omega C is the frequency then its power will be given by AC square by 2 similarly if you have given a message signal M of T which is equal to AM cos omega MT uh, then its power pm equal to am square by am square by 2 so this is the first useful data for this question and the second useful data is that uh, operation of uh, bandpass filter so let's say if you have given a bandpass filter ideal bandpass filter whose center frequency is fc and uh, the upper band is uh, fc plus some frequency w and the lower band is sitting at uh, fc minus w and its amplitude is 1 so all the frequency component all the frequency component between fc minus w to fc plus w will be passed through this bandpass filter but frequency which is less than fc minus w and frequency which is greater than fc plus w will not pass through this bandpass filter so these two are the useful data for this question so in the question you have given c of t equal to ac cos omega ct and uh, m of t as cos of omega mt uh, this can be written as ac cos 2 pi fct omega c equal to 2 pi fct and m of t can be written as uh, cos of 2 pi fmt now this signal ct plus mt is input to a non-linear device which output and input is uh, related by v not equal to a times vi plus b times vi square and the output of this non linear system is input to a bandpass filter whose center frequency is at fc and the bandwidth is 3f so this means this upper band is setting at fc plus 1.5 fm and uh, this uh, lower band is sitting at fc minus 1.5 times fm and the output of this bandpass filter is amplitude modulated wave now you can write the output of this nonlinear uh, device can be written as a times ct plus mt plus b times ct plus m of t whole square further you can write v naught as a into ac cos 2 pi fct plus a cos 2 pi fmt plus b times ac square cos square 
25 FCT plus B square cos square 2 pi FMT plus 2 times B AC into cos of 2 pi FCT into cos of 2 pi FMT. And you use cos square theta as 1 plus cos 2 theta by 2 and uh, cos a into cos b equal to cos of a plus b plus cos of a minus b upon 2 then you can simplify this v naught as a times ac cos 2 pi fct plus a cos 2 pi fmt plus b ac square by 2 1 plus cos 4 pi fct plus b square by 2 1 plus cos 4 pi fmt plus you will get b ac times cos of 2 pi Fc minus Fm T plus cos of 2 pi Fc plus Fm time T. So this is the output of nonlinear device. What further you can write in right you can write this as AC cos 2 pi Fc T. I'm just rearranging the terms plus b times ac into cos of 2 pi fc minus fm times t plus cos of 2 pi fc plus fm into t plus b ac square by 2 plus b square by 2 plus b ac square by 2 times cos of 4 pi fct plus b square by 2 cos of 4 pi fmt now this v naught t will pass through band pass which has a center frequency at Fc and the upper side wind is sitting at Fc plus 1.5 fm and lower frequency is Fc minus 1.5 fm. Now the first term which is has a frequency of Fc will pass through this bandpass filter. The second these B A C times cos of 2 pi fc minus fm is also lies within the band so it will also pass the third term will also pass because it has a frequency of fc plus fm so it is within the band but these two are the dc term which is out of band of this band pass filter similarly this 4 pi fc is sitting at 2 fc so it will not pass this dc will not pass also this 4 pi fm is sitting at 2 fm so it will also not pass through this band pass filter so only three components will pass that is ac cos 2 pi fct and b ac times cos 2 pi fc minus fmt and cos of b ac times cos of 2 pi fc plus fm of t so the output s of t that is the output of the band pass filter will be a times ac of cos of 2 pi fct plus b times 
AC of cos of 2 pi FC minus FM T plus cos of 2 pi FC plus FM times T. Now, this is your carrier in the amplitude modulated signal. This is your lower side band and this is your upper side. In the question, you have given the side band power side band power to the carrier power that is the ratio of side band power and the carrier power is 1 by 2. So the side band power will be given by power of USP plus power of LSP and carrier power will be given by PC. So power of USP will be this is square by 2. So this is B square AC square upon 2. Similarly, power of LSP will be given by B square AC square by 2. And the carrier power will be given by A square AC square by 2. And this is equal to 1 by 2. So this AC square by 2 and AC square by 2 will be cancelled out from this equation. And you will get B square upon A square is equal to 1 by 4 which implies a by b equal to 2. So the correct answer for this question is option D.